changed a stranger's bedpans for a year. Mom was glad my fiance was deployed on our wedding day. After that, I couldn't get through to him. He deliberately went to war to escape you. Among the trash, I found a hospital letter. Adam had been seriously <gasps> injured, and Mom told me nothing about it. Why do you need such a burden? It's not your Adam anymore. I've already found you a new rich husband. We're annulling this marriage. Adam was paralyzed. His face was badly injured, and he couldn't see or hear. Despite this, I took him home, then suddenly found out I was pregnant. You can't take care of them both. It's Adam or the baby. I suggest we put Adam in a home, she said. I took care of my husband for six months. I worked two jobs and spent every penny on his rehab. Then one day, I saw my real husband. He was alive and well, not like a ghost at all. Your mom said you were already with someone else. Now I see that's true. Adam pointed to the man's legs in the bed and my belly. How could you do this to me? He cried. After getting over the shock, I rushed after Adam. It's your baby. All this time, I thought I was nursing you back to health. I cried. Adam believed me. But who is in our bed? Adam recognized his best friend Jack by his chipped dog tag. He saved my life by shielding me. Adam said, barely holding back the tears. The rest of the story was even more incredible. I suffered memory loss, and they mixed us up at the hospital. My memory came back just today, and I rushed back to you. Adam couldn't contain his joy. He admired my sacrifice and dedication. Well, since this cripple isn't your husband, get him out. Put him in my car. I'll take him to a home. Mom suggested coldly, appearing out of nowhere. When Jack saw Adam, his voice came back to him. Buddy, your wife saved me. He praised my strength and love for Adam. That day, Adam realized my love for him was pure. The first thing Jack did was call his girlfriend. She was beside herself with grief the whole time. She said she'd be on the first flight out. No injuries would stop her. Today, Adam and I had a baby boy. We got an invite to Jack's wedding. Thanks to my timely care, he's almost back on his feet. We're all happy, except my mom. Everyone's joy spoils her mood. <gasps> So she landed up meeting her karma. Blinded by anger, she didn't see the stairs and broke her leg. Adam and I visited her in the next room. Now she won't be able to walk for a long time. Mom was sure we'd put her in a home. We'll take you home. I'll take care of you. If you love someone, you make all kinds of sacrifices. You don't get it because you don't love anybody. But it's not too late to change yourself and your attitude toward others. I left mom this valuable piece of advice. 